Today we are here to talk about myrcene. Myrcene, actually pronounced myrosine, is a monoterpene that stands for 7-methyl-3-methylene-octa-1,6-diene, which really looks more something like this. 7-methyl, a carbon group in the seventh spot on the chain. 3-methylene, a double bond on the third spot on the chain. Octa, because the longest chain is 8. And there are double bonds on the 1 and 6 positions for the 1,6-diene. Naturally, it's found in bay leaf, hops, ylang ylang, lemongrass, mangoes, and of course cannabis, because it's awesome. But by itself, it has anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor and sedative effects. When you add THC or CBD into it, you get an increased couch lock, increased blood brain barrier, which really just means mercine plus CBD or THC feels better. But it does look something like this. You're able to see a quick diagram that I drew up of the blood-brain barrier within the brain. You can see the THC, CBD, and terpings traveling down the bloodstream, and then the lines on each side are going to be our blood-brain barrier. More or less, when more myrcene is added, the little blue dots, it's going to increase the absorption rate of the THC and CBD within the brain, which results in an increased psychoactive effect. In other words, it gets you higher. But myrcene by itself is one of the most important terpings. It can actually change the way indicus and sativas ultimately feel, which really means with more myrcene, it's going to feel more like an indica, and with less myrcene, it's going to feel more like a sativa. And with that being said, our time is up.